So right now we're going to be, well, I'm going to be putting in the side dots, so marking out the locations and then with this drilling the hole to put them in. Uh, so that's 3579. So that's that 2.3, so that's 1.5. We have two of these little plastic rods which will be inserted in the holes and then cut off to provide the side dots. Okay, so while this last um, piece is drying in the, in the glue for the, the final side dot, um, so that's finished. We'll sand down the sides here so that that'll be nice and smooth later on. And in fact it's already marked on here that we plan, so the neck will be a bit thinner than it is now, and then we will create a sort of slightly angled headstock here and shave a, a bit off off the hair, a wedge off the top and take some off the bottom and then we should have a decent positioning for the tuning heads here so that the strings come up a little bit in order to go over the nut. The side dots. So that looks okay. you're a bit premature. So we've talked a bit about how we're going to shape the headstock and the neck. Uh, we've drawn out how we want to cut the, the headstock at a bit of an angle. Um, we're going to partly chisel it, probably partly use a rasp or a file, and then on the neck, because we've got more depth than we need, um, We'll use a spoke shave probably to, to carve down the neck, but what I have what I've suggested is that we'll actually drill some holes down the, the center line of the back of the neck to the depth that we want to cut away, or just a little bit less. And then when we actually um, shave them off, we can tell, tell when we're getting to the right depth because we won't see any of the hole anymore. So instead of doing it at 20, 22, halfway, if we just do three mil, two or three millimeters higher. That's it. And the goal of this is to create an asymmetric neck carve. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how that's going to feel, but whatever. This is all a bit of an experiment anyway. 
I still think you're going to make the neck too thick, but there we go. Mm -hmm. Because neither of us has ever used a spoke shave before, this is a certain amount of experimentation. Well, this is the first time I actually picked it up, so I'm basically making it up. using a spoke shave to get the sort of rough shape of the neck done. Um, took us a little while to work out how to actually use it properly. That took some time, but once once we got into it, it went quite quickly actually. What else was I going to say? So we've gone slightly asymmetric, which feels nice. I don't know if it, it, it would if it would have felt that much different symmetric, but gave it a go and it feels nice. So there you go. Um, also the neck isn't the same thickness all the way down for aesthetic reasons. I wanted it to taper off to the thinness over here rather than doing a sort of little lump down and then same all the way across. shape of the neck done. Um, it's not sanded yet, but it looks nice. And I'm happy with that. Yep. So we have some slots cut in to chisel through basically, mm -hmm. carefully. That is, uh, I think, the right size. Yeah. We're trying to work out where to put the tuning pegs, or the tuning heads on the headstock. If you wanted to do something like that. Um, now of course it depends on which side of the mounting post you wind the strings. Yeah, sort of symmetric. Basically. Um, maybe I shouldn't do symmetric. I want these two to both wind the same way, which means you want the string to go the same side of the post. Depends a little bit on exactly where the strings are going to go. Because you've got quite a wide fretboard for three strings. So we uh, call it a day for today. Okay. We'll see you in two or three weeks probably.